We, uh, we lost Jeff Hewitt. And uh, I think his last book, I think it was his last book, was um, some of you guys remember uh, the poacher that got stomped, stomped by an elephant and then his remains were eaten by a lion. Yeah, that was his last book, The Poacher Stomped by Elephants, Eaten by Lions. And uh, he actually asked me to write, he, he asked me to write the introduction for that book. And it seems, I don't know, kind of like a cool eulogy. So I was going to read part of it. Um, never told Jeff Hewitt that for as long as I've known him, I've always referred to him as Hewitt when talking to other people. I've never known why this is. It may have something to do with the fact that I do the same thing when I talk about the poets and the writers I most admire. But it's not just admiration. Let's be honest here. It's also envy. A kind of emerald-eyed fury that Stephen King described as accompanying the thought, damn, I wish I'd written that. I admire Robert Bly, Langston Hughes, Pablo Neruda, they taught me valuable lessons. I envy Yukowski, Lucille Clifton, Coleridge, Machado, Kenneth Patchen, adoring and cursing them by turns. First time I encountered Hewitt was at an open mic. It was a place called Casablanca Cafe. I doubt he remembers this. I read a poem about Clark Kent. I assume he dug it at least a little since he got on the mic afterward and said, well, that pretty much kicked everybody's ass. I liked him immediately. Because of Hewitt and folks like him, I kept showing up, venturing out to other places. I ended up here by giving him a ride. Now it's home. Whatever sort of writer I am today is a direct function of the places I've read at and the people that made them happen. Jeff Hewitt was a major component of all of them. His track record is impressive. Poet, essayist, graphic novelist, photographer, musician, his talents range wide. I also came to learn the man doesn't fuck around. Not in politics, not in criticism, and definitely not in poetry. It's even earned him some occasional hate mail. The lucky bastard. The man is a fierce editor. To borrow from Hunter Thompson, he stomped on the terror. Look at the poems. A strong body of work spanning decades. They not only stand up on the page, they command it. Having, the head, having had the chance to edit a few literary magazines, I've seen my share of poems that fall far too short of this. Referring to Bukowski, I've heard Hewitt say more than once, a man could break a fucking line. Well, Bukowski's not the only one. In his poem, 11, 7, 19, he said, it is not the midsummer ocean tide easing up to the shore, but it will do. Thanks. We miss you, Jeff. <laughs>